Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly readings for all zodiac signs. I do want to give a big shout out to Virgos. I'm uploading the videos uh, from last month, uh, the ones with the most views or the most comments. So don't forget to comment, don't forget to share and like the videos. Uh, again, like I said, I will be doing that throughout the months. Um, uploading the videos with the most views or the most comments so show support for your for your sign anyways this is going to be a reading for uh, Virgo Sun Moon and Rising also I want to let you guys know if you guys are interested in private consultations look at the description box below if you're looking for spellcraft or anything to do with candle magic again all my services are listed on the description box and you have my personal contact email there so you can contact me um, let's move forward. Um, what else? Also, I want to give a big shout out to one of my dearest clients and friend of mine, uh, Diane Morosco. Uh, she's an amazing author, an amazing, uh, a woman, a woman that is very inspirational. I highly encourage you guys to check out her books on Amazon. Her name is Diane Morosco. Thank you, sweetheart, for the coffee mug. It says Bruja, uh, which in English, it means witch. So, Anyways, uh, thank you very much. I appreciate it, sweetheart. Let's get into your rating. So this is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. I had already shuffled the cards. We're ready to go. But let me just shuffle one more or a couple more times. Spirit, what are the messages for Virgos for the month of November 2017? What are the messages for Virgos, Virgos, Virgos? Okay. Let's get into your reading, Virgos. Okay, your first card is the Fool card. Second card is the Ten of Cups. Third card is the Three of Wands. The Knight of Wands. The Five of Wands. The Ace of Wands. The King of Wands. Ooh, the Death card. The Eight of Swords. The Ten of Wands. The Queen of Wands. The Devil card. The Hierophant, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Six of Wands. Your general energies is that of the Knight of Cups. Okay, Virgos, for the month of September, sorry, <laughs> September, for the month of November, uh, the Knight of Cups is a symbol, a uh, representation of a message coming through, and it's a message in a positive aspect for you. What you guys are going to be hearing or receiving news from is very positive to your life and to your experience at the present time. For some of you guys, it could be that a, you guys get communication from a water sign. A water sign would be a Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. You do have the death card here. So for some of you guys, you may be dealing with a Scorpio in particular. So let's get into your reading, Virgos. So the first card you have here in your reading is the full card. And this is the energies. Again, it could be residue energy from the month of October. But you guys are definitely going to be experiencing new beginnings, okay? Unfortunately, with that of new beginnings, sometimes there is endings that are necessary in order for us to receive or open the door to new beginnings. We must allow the door to stay open so that negative things or that of the past walks out. Try the best you can. Now, with the full card, I am getting a message. Um, the message is coming through very clearly. So for some of you Virgos that recently have separated or walked away from a relationship, Try the best you can not to pull them or try to pull them towards you. And the reason for that is because there is newness right around the corner. You don't want to block your blessings by begging or asking people to stay that don't want to stay. They want to move. Let them move. Uh, they want to walk away, let them walk away. Uh, embrace it, okay? Do not resist change. The reason I say that is because you do have the death card here in your reading. So the death card is a major transformation that is happening at the present time. Now, next to the full card, you have the Ten of Cups. So the Ten of Cups is all about uh, family dynamic and having to do with that of the household or the family, friends, people that are connected to you. You are waiting on a message um, with the three of wands here. The three of wands is a representation of you waiting basically for the ships to come to shore. Uh, you're waiting for a message to come through and that message is definitely coming through here with the knight of wands. There's a message that's coming through for some of you guys. Perhaps you recently had um, 
an argument or a fight, it could be with a relative, a family member, or it could be with your partner. For those of you guys that are in a serious long-term committed relationship, the Five of Wands is definitely talking about arguments. Uh, perhaps there was an argument and the message that's coming through has to do in connection with that argument. For others of you, it could represent that in the business field. So if you guys own your own business or running your own business, there's a lot of chaos and a lot of chaotic energy around that business. Um, it seems like obstacles just keep coming your way. And again, there is a positive message that's coming through. But in that positive message, there is a need to either let go of people that are bringing in chaos into your life. So it could be, you know, uh, for those of you guys that run your own business, it could be that you come to uh, the understanding that the message that comes through has to do with uh, perhaps you just don't know why people can't seem to get along in the workplace. Well, there may be uh, news coming in in regards to a person particularly that works with you guys or for you that is the person that likes to steer the pot likes to steer up a lot of drama and that's the one person you need to let go of okay you need to cut them out uh, in order to receive or in order to maintain a harmonious type of energy now you do have the ace of wands here so there's a new beginning coming through the new beginning is coming through with the king of swords so the king of swords could represent an air sign for some of you guys, you may be dealing with an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra. Uh, for others of you that are single at the present time, there's an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra that's coming through that is promising you or that is trying to get your attention because they're bringing to, to you a new beginning of passion, which is a message coming through. You find out that someone's interested in you or trying to get to know you on a deeper level. The death card here is a symbology of that of what no longer serves you. You must let it go. That which ends, do not resist it. Do not try to get your exes back. Again, like I said, if there's been a falling out or of separation, do not, do not, I cannot stress this en enough, do not entertain people that have brought stress to your life, that have either manipulated certain circumstances to the best of their interests. What I mean by that is if you've been dealing with a person that keeps coming in and out of your life, because they don't know exactly what it is that they want, cut them out. Let them leave and do not ask them to come back or do not even entertain if they do so decide to come back to you. The Eight of Swords here is talking about anxiety, but it also talks about feeling stuck. And you're feeling stuck because you continuously keep doing the same, uh, the same past behaviors. It's almost like you're not wanting to learn or you're not wanting to take action when action is needed. So what I mean by that is, again, going back to the business field and finances. If you guys continuously keep making the same mistakes in regards to if you're investing too much in the business and you're not getting those investments returned, meaning you're not selling, uh, you're not, um, you're just not bringing in, the money's not coming in and you continuously keep recycling the money. And what I mean by recycling is putting or buying or purchasing more when you know that you're not selling or you're not doing good, you need to stop that. You need to look at the past mistakes you've done in the past. If it didn't serve you, then it's not going to serve you coming forward or moving forward. So understand that and know that there's a need for you to cut out past behaviors so you can embrace new beginnings. Now you do have the 10, excuse me, you do have the 10 of wands here next to the queen of wands. So there's a lot of obstacles coming through or miscommunication, misunderstandings with the fire sign. Uh, this could be a Aries Sagittarius um, or a Leo woman. doesn't have to be a woman. It could be a male as well. It is a general reading. Um, and this uh, queen of wands is next to the devil card. So for some of you guys, okay, so I'm getting a multitude of messages. For some of you guys, if you have been feeling like obstacles keep coming your way one after the other, pay very close attention to, to that, okay? And the reason I say that is because when you're able to pick up on certain things that are not normal, and what I mean by not normal, I'm speaking purely on the esoteric witchcraft, um, you know, uh, blockages, all of that. It comes in threes, okay? So pay attention to that. The reason why I say that is because you do have the death card here and the eight of wands. I Sorry, the eight of swords. So there could be an ending that happened or a miscommunication with someone that is knowledgeable of the esoteric because the queen of wands to me 
also represents a person that knows about magic. The Eight of Swords is being tied or being bounded, and the Devil card is right under it. So be careful with that. Again, like I said, pay attention. It usually comes in three. So an example, if you've been experiencing that uh, one day your car doesn't want to start, and then two days later you get a flat tire, and then three days later something else happens, then what you need to do, sweetheart, is you need to do either a cleansing, you need a cleansing, or you need... Um, uh, abre caminos, which represents uh, opening pathways, because they're trying to close off. Uh, they're trying to close off that uh, those advancements for you, and it usually comes through as you know, like I said, working with magic. So be careful with that, uh, Virgos. Now moving forward, again, like I said, the ten of wands here with this fire sign could be both male or female. Again, like I said. This is a person that is knowledgeable or knows a lot about you. Uh, this is a person that can be very explosive. So be very careful if, in fact, you have been rubbing, you know, pretty much uh, bumping heads with a fire sign, whether it's a male or a female. Um, try the best you can to either pull yourself away from that connection that, uh, especially if it's in the business front, you know, go to business. Sorry, you go to your company, you work there. But you can feel that type of energy like they're just their eyes are just on you. Be very careful with that. Try the best to create distance. The more distance, the better to protect yourself. OK, so anyways, you do have the Hierophant here and the nine of pentacles. Now, so what this is representing for those of you guys that are single at the present time, um, like I said, there is a air sign that's coming through for some of you guys. It could represent also um a Scorpio because the death card is here. So there is a new person coming through for you guys. Um, as the nine of pentacles is a representation of singlehood, but it also it's next to the hierophant. So singlehood and long term or commitment is right next to each other. So there is going to be a person coming through because the six of wands is here and it's cutting through. Uh, the singlehood and the commitment. So you're going to, this person that's coming through is going to give you the opportunity uh, to connect with them on a deeper level. It could be a person that you just c totally connect with and vibe with. And it, it, you know, the relationship progresses very quickly. So that's definitely a good thing. Again, like I said, uh, you have to know exactly what it is that you want. Uh, try not to mislead them. And the reason I say that is because this person is definitely looking for commitment so know and understand that okay i hope this resonated with you guys if you guys are interested in private consultations look at the description box below um and i hope to see you guys in the middle of the month okay blessings bye